good morning to one and all uh, i dr devraj singh chauhan associate professor and head of department mental health nursing as a phd coordinator just we are uh, proceeding today's webinar on quantitative method in nursing research especially this webinar is a uh, Designed to provide the exclusive knowledge for the PhD scholar associated with the Parul University as well as fraternity and uh, various nursing faculties. Uh, for this webinar, uh, uh, we want to introduce our co convener. Uh, today's webinar convener, Dr. Ravindra H. N. Dean, Parul Institute of Nursing, Parul University, Vadodara. And uh, today's uh, speaker, eminent speaker, uh, Ma'am uh, Dr. S. P. Subhasini. Ma'am, currently. Uh, working as a dean galgotia school of nursing galgotia university greater noida mem have a wide experience in nursing research administration and academic mem completed a phd in 2017 and msc nursing in 2004 mem almost have a more than 21 year experience and 45 publication in various national and international reported journals uh, it also include like the web of science and uh, other some uh scopus index journal mem also served as a speaker chairperson in national and international seminar also organized so many conferences mem also served as a governing body for the various universities mem also lifetime members of more than seven professional bodies mem experience ever contribute in professional growth also and it will be helpful for the researchers i hope today's webinar also Uh, useful for this all participants who belong from field of nursing and medical department and paramedics also so this is, is we design quantitative method in nursing research ma'am please over to you ma'am please unmute thank you dr devrat singh chauhan for giving this opportunity to share the knowledge thank you very much for your brief introduction and uh, good morning to one and all this is dr subhashni dean galgotia school of nursing i would like to share small um, knowledge regarding this quantitative method in nursing research quantitative research it is a research where the inquiry is identified with the problem based testing on a theory which is composed of variables and measured with the numbers and analyzed by statistical technique we have classifications under this experimental research design non experimental research design and other additional research designs here in experimental we have three true experimental design quasi experimental design pre experimental design under non experimental we have descriptive correlational developmental epidemiological and survey let us see one by one experimental design where the observation is under controlled condition the examination of the effect of the independent variable on independent variable so we can be controlled in this aspect true true experimental design here the researchers have complete control over the extraneous variable and can predict very confidently that the observed effect on the dependent is only due to the manipulation of the independent how the independent variable disturbs the controlled one so this is true experimental design let us see the characteristics of this it has a manipulation control and randomization 
manipulation it is a conscious control of the independent variable randomization is each subject has an equal chance of being assigned to the experimental or control either this or that group for example we can say flip of a coin or a randomly you can select from the table or a drawing lot system chit system all these will be have the main characteristic of this randomization next control use of control group and controlling the effects of extraneous variable under the independent variable in which researcher is interested that is matching counterbalancing and homogeneity same characteristics true experiment have so many types that is post test only control design pre test post test control design solomon four group design factorial design randomized block design and crossover in post test only control design here we have a random assignments so after selecting we are going to divide into two groups experimental and control group for experiment we will give treatment then post test will be done whereas for control group directly post test will be done this is post test only control group example will be a study to assess the effect of an educational intervention related to urinary incontinence on the subsequent health seeking behavior of older adults next type is pre test post test only design here the random assignments we are taking again we are making into experimental control group pre test will be done for the both but treatment will be given only for the experiment and post test will be done for both the example is an experimental study to assess the effectiveness of cognitive behavior therapy intervention for patients with breast cancer here comes solomon four group the solomon four group maximum they will give for the um, in uh, medical or treatment in that aspect they will be going here random assignment they will take they will have two groups of experimental and two groups of control here for one group alone they will give pre test then treatment and for all the groups it will be post test experimental group 1 experiment uh, control group 1 here both will be taking the pre test then treatment for experimental alone and then post test for both in second group of experimental and control they will not give any pre test only treatment for experimental post test will be then so r1 r2 r3 r4 all post test will be done for the all four groups so they will find out the result based on this a study to assess the effectiveness of smoking prevention program on standard 9 children so they will assess the effectiveness of smoking prevention how they are effect how the effect is there factorial design in this the researcher manipulates two or more independent variable simultaneously to observe their effect on the dependent variable the researcher they manipulate two or more independent variable at the same time to observe their effect on the independent variable useful when more than two independent variables to be tested the testing of several hypotheses in a single time example is effect of two different protocols of mouth care on prevention of vap ventricular when ventilator assisted associated pneumonia when performed at different frequencies in a day this is an example every 2 hours we used to give the mouth care 4th hourly 6th hourly and 8th hourly we can take two protocols chlorhexidine and saline so in this we can find out the differentiation randomized block design here there is a large number of experimental comparison groups the randomized block design it is used to bring homogeneity among selected different groups example effect of three different antihypertensive drugs on patient with hypertension let us see the example here antihypertensive drugs three is there a b and c 
first group has patient with primary hypertension alone next diabetic patient with hypertension next renal patient with hypertension all these groups will be uh, assessed with the three types of hypertensive dense and they will assess who is having the homogenicity crossover here subjects are exposed to more than one treatment where subjects are randomly assigned to different orders of treatment we can repeat the measure design and it is more powerful sometimes effective the main example for this is effectiveness of chlorhexidine and saline mouth care protocol on prevention of vap here is the crossover group 1 will be given the protocol of chlorhexidine and saline group 2 will be given cross saline and chlorhexidine and they will find out the result this is crossover advantages the main advantages of this is it is very powerful design to establish the casual relationship between the independent and dependent variable controlled environment where the study is conducted can yield a greater degree of purity in observation conditions not found in natural setting can be created in experimental setting researcher can pursue studies in more leisurely careful and concentrated way all these are the important advantages now let us see few disadvantage advantages the results cannot be replicated in studies conducted on human beings due to ethical it is not possible to impose control over extraneous variable very difficult to get cooperation from the study participants and many of the human variables neither have valid measurable criteria nor instrument to measure them now next go for quasi experimental research design it involves manipulation of independent variable to observe the effect of the dependent variable but it lacks at least one or two characteristic of the true experiment randomization or control group quasi independent variable are used instead of true independent variable the types non randomized control group design and time series design in non randomized control group it has non equivalent control group design the identical to pre test post test control group design except no random assignment of the subject assignments will not be given it will give only pre test and post test example is no assignment will be random assignment will be taken one group control group one group experimental group both will be given pre test treatment for experimental group post test for both the groups it is non randomized control group design example to study the effects of integrated care on quality of work in nursing homes time series when experimenter wants to measure the effect of a treatment over a long period of time so here the effects of the number of times during the course of the experiment will be increased example is experimental group you are taking one time you are giving the assessment as you are assessing then leave some gap then next next q3 then again treatment again you will assess it is a time series you are giving certain period between assessment measuring a child's school performance on a weekly basis then introducing a new teaching technique again measuring on weekly basis this is an example of time series advantages practical and feasible to conduct it is more suitable for real world natural setting than true experimental it allows the researcher to evaluate the impact of quasi independent variable under natural conditions it may be able to establish casual relationship the disadvantages it has no control over the extraneous variable absence of control group it may result 
less reliable and weak for the establishment of the causal relationship between dependent and independent variables next is pre experimental here consi considered as very weak because the researcher has very little control over the experiment there are two types one shot case design one group pre test and post test design in one shot case design there is no random assignment no control group a single experimental group is exposed for the treatment and observations are made after treatment this is an example of the experimental group treatment then post test one shot case design the example is a study on nursing personnel registered for a day workshop on life skill education here one group pre test post test it is a very simplest type only the experimental group is selected and there is no control group this is a example experimental group pre test will be there treatment will be there post test will be there this is one group pre test post test design the example is effect of stp on level of knowledge regarding labor and newborn care among primary gravida mothers the advantage of this is it's very simple and convenient to conduct these studies in natural settings it is more suitable for beginners in the field of experimental research disadvantage it's very weak because it controls no threat to internal validity very little control over the research it has a higher threat to internal may have a selection bias non experimental research design in this the researcher observes the phenomenon as they occur naturally and no external variables are introduced the variables are not manipulated nor setting is controlled here data obtained are analyzed and results may lead to the formation of hypothesis that can be tested experimentally why there is a need of non experimental design here the studies where the independent variable cannot be manipulated the studies were unethical to manipulate the independent variable not practically possible to conduct experiments and descriptive studies that do not require any experimental approach so based on this we need non experimental design also let us see the types here we have descriptive design correlational design developmental research design epidemiological design survey research design descriptive here the purpose is to observe describe and document the aspect of situation and it is naturally occurs sometimes to serve as a starting point of hypothesis generation or theory development under descriptive we have three types univariate descriptive design explorative design comparative design the main features of this to observe document describe a phenomenon in its natural setting to gain more information about the characteristics within a particular field of inquiry it provides an impression of situation when it occurs in natural setting it to develop theories identify problem with current practices justify current practice make judgments or determine any other practices in similar situation bias is prevented through operational definitions of variables large sample size random sampling technique valid and reliable research tools formal data collection methods identification of phenomenon of interest identifying the variables within the phenomenon developing operational definitions of the variables and describing the variables all these are the features univariate descriptive design they describe the frequency of occurrence of phenomenon the basic purpose is not only to describe the variable but also to establish the relationship between those variables used to identify and describe 
perception awareness behavior attitude knowledge and practice of people a descriptive study of the perceived causes of female forty-seven among women in selected rural and urban communities of district jaipur rajasthan this is an example of this next is exploratory descriptive design identify explore and describe the existing phenomena and related factors but it is in the depth exploration and a study of its related factors to improve further understanding about a less understood phenomenon example will be an exploratory study on factors affecting bowel movements in orthopedic patients admitted in civil hospital ludhiana correlational or ex post facto research design researcher examines the relationship between two or more variables in a natural setting without manipulation or control the researcher they examine the relationship between two or more variables in a natural setting without manipulation or control they have two types prospective and retrospective the main features are here the researcher examines the strength of the relationship between the variables the effect of independent variable is observed on dependent variable without manipulating the independent variable magnitude and direction of relationship of independent variable and dependent is measured by using the correlation of coefficient measure cause and effect study will be done it can be investigated in forward manner or backward both manner prospective research a design in which the researcher relates the present to the future it starts with the pre assumed cause and then go to the effect it is of longitudinal example a prospective correlational study on the effect of earthquakes on migration of people in gujarat retrospective here the researcher studies the current phenomenon by seeking information from the past that is backward approach here the effect to identify the cause why it is happening example a retrospective correlation study on the alcohol consumption pattern among patients diagnosed with alcoholic liver disease at gastrointestinal department ludhiana <clears throat> developmental research design this research design examines the phenomenon with reference to time it is used as adjunct research design here the types are cross sectional longitudinal under longitudinal we have trend studies panel studies follow up studies cross sectional design here the researcher collects data at a particular point of time it is very easy and more convenient example assessing the awareness on swine flu among people in rural area longitudinal design the data is collected over an extended period of time its value is uh, to demonstrate the change over a period of time trend here in this it helps to investigate a sample from general population over a time with respect to some phenomenon it permits the researcher to examine the a pattern and rate of change uh, to make the prediction of future direction based on previously identified problem or pattern or rate of changes a trend study to determine whether gender differences associated with ca coronary artery revascularization change over time panel studies sample of people involved in study here same people are involved over a long period of time they become more informative on the phenomenon then the subject in trend studies because the researcher cannot only examine the pattern change but also the reason for change the same selected people are contacted for two or more times for further data example who and pender tested pender's health promotion model from a two wave panel of study between taiwan adolescents follow up studies to determine the subsequent states of subjects 
with a specified condition or those who have received a specific intervention. Example will be a follow-up study of 280 patients who had undergone various treatments of coronary artery disease. Here data relating to the patient's quality of life were gathered one year and eight years after the treatment. I hope now we are doing for COVID. After COVID, the follow-up, how was the next, how, what changes they feel. Next is epidemiological research design. To investigate causes of different disease in either prospective or retrospective approach. That is cohort or case control studies. Cohort. Longitudinal approach is used to investigate the occurrence of disease in the existing pre-assumed pre causes. For example, the researcher longitudinally observed the smoker for development of cancer. Whereas in case control, the cause of disease are investigated after its occurrence. Survey research, it is used to collect information from different subjects within a given population having same characteristic of interest the main example is a study to assess the factors influencing postnatal depression among the postnatal mothers types of depending on nature phenomenon all these are the types that is descriptive survey exploratory survey comparative survey correlational survey The various methods for method of data collection are written survey, where structured tools, questioners will be there, or optional will be there, then oral survey, face-to-face, -face, direct interview or telephonic conversation, electronic survey. Yeah, electronic means email, SMS, web, all these survey will be taken. The advantages are closest to real life situation, more suitable for nursing research studies, it will be suitable in situation where the true experiment is not practical. Disadvantage leads to uh, the relationship between dependent and independent variable can never be absolutely clear and error free. These are conducted for comparative purposes using non randomly selected groups, which may not be homogeneous and tend to be dissimilar in different traits or characteristics, which may affect the authenticity and generalizability of the study results. Other additional research designs. Here we have methodological studies, meta-analysis, secondary data analysis, outcome research, evaluation studies, and operational research. Methodological. It is conducted to develop, validate, test, and evaluate the research instruments and methods. Here, it defines the behavior or construct to measure. It formulates items for tool, developing instruments for users and respondents, testing the reliability and validity of research tool. Example, a RCT designed to test alternative incentives to participate in a survey among non-physician healthcare professionals, that is nurse practitioner and physical assistants. Meta-analysis. This is analysis of analysis. Quantitatively combining and integrating the findings of multiple research studies on a particular topic. Statistical analysis of a large amount of analyzed results from individualized studies for the purpose of integrating the findings. This is meta-analysis. Here, first we have to define the hypothesis, locate the studies, get the data, Calculate the effect size and analyze the variables. Systematic review of research on the effect of management, central venous catheters and catheter sites in acute care pediatric patient. This is an example for this analysis. Secondary data analysis. Here, data collected by one researcher is reanalyzed by another researcher, usually to test the hypothesis. The researcher collects lots of data in a study, out of which some of the data is left unused or 
unanalyzed that is later taken by another researcher for example a study on racial disparities in testicular cancer using data on nearly 8000 men from a national cancer institute database so it studied whether there were racial ethnic differences in the relationship between men's age and their stage of testicular cancer outcome research it involves the evaluation of care practices and systems in place in nursing to develop ebp and to improve nursing practices it focuses on patient health status and cost care an outcome research study on patient satisfaction with existing nursing care model in ludhiana this is an example for this having the right things structures then it leads to process doing the things outcome the right result evaluation studies in evaluation studies it involves the judgment about how well a specific program practice a procedure or policy is working to determine the effectiveness of value of process the personnel equipment and material used in particular setting formative or summative evaluation research also involved in this formative it focuses on evaluation process of a program rather than outcome summative it assesses the outcome of the program after completing the program example an evaluation study on the effectiveness of an indigenous nursing service and nursing education integration model at rishikesh aims operational research it involves study of complex human organization organ organizations and services to develop new knowledge about institutions programs use of facilities and personnel in order to improve working efficiency of an organization an operational research study on the patient's perception about different patient assignment methods for administering nursing care in selected hospitals of hyderabad the characteristics includes an interest in variable and it control over variable what measurement it will be using comparison of the groups priority selection of the design then quantitative research in evidence based practice assessment and diagnosis of patients intervention evaluation outcome so nowadays we are going for ebp evaluation of outcomes thank you very much and you yes ma'am hello i'm audible yes sir no, please minimize repeat your one minute no presenting mode yeah thank you for delivering the wonderful uh, session ma'am and i hope uh, quantitative methods and how to utilize the various uh, different uh, 
uh, like that uh, method in uh, nursing research or definitely after attending this uh, session participants may get a great knowledge about the various method uh, related to quantitative techniques or how we can utilize and how we can identify and how we can check the suitability according to our research study it will be definitely increase the knowledge overall knowledge of the researchers and i also thanks to you ma'am regarding to manage the time maybe there may be some technical issues but it will be to so hope in future we also wanna see your presence definitely and again thanks to you uh, from the parul university and parul institute of nursing vadodara and we hope in future we also get your time definitely and sorry for the inconvenience i hope so <laughs> No, 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 ma'am. It's a technical error, so there is not an thing. So maybe uh, something happened. No issue. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you.